I'm here with Inspire Entertainment and today we're going to be talking about turns. And today this is my assistant Maddie and she's going to be helping me with um, demonstrating the pirouettes today. Okay, so with turns we want to focus on four words. The first one is foundation, second one is opposition, third one is momentum, and fourth one is sustain. So we're going to start with foundation first. And the, the foundation of your turns are your prep and your core. So we're going to start with our prep. She's going to go with her right foot back, and that's going to be her right turn. So as you can see, she's in a deep plie, and her back heel is super high, and her hips are completely tucked under with her, with her core squeezing really tight, with her core squeezing really tight, and her shoulders are stacked on top of her hips, and her arms are elongated. So from there, she's going to push off her back leg into a passe. When you're in passe, you're going to be thinking about a circle in your body. You're going to be going down, around, and back up. So your back is squeezing, your hips are pulling down to pull up the center, and chin lifting up, and you're just going to keep thinking about that circle this way. Yes? Okay, you can relax. The second word we're going to talk about is opposition. So go ahead and go into passe. Opposition happens all throughout your body. It's going to be happening in your elbows are pulling out, your fingers are pulling in, your shoulder blades are pulling back, and your hands are pulling forward. So you get a perfect circular arm um, shape. Yeah. Then from here, moving down to our hips, our hips are going down as our passe is going up. So you're feeling that opposition lock into place so that you have nice square hips in your passe. And the third opposition we want to talk about is going all the way through your head and pushing all the way down to the floor so that aligns the spine and you're stacked all the way on top of your leg. Okay, so for <laughs> momentum, there's two parts and the first part is a deep plie and those arms really um, getting into a good shape and starting your turn off. And what helps your turn to keep going is your spot. So when you're spotting, you're going to want to disconnect your head from your shoulder. So she's going to turn her body and she's going to spot herself in the mirror and then she's going to whip and that's what brings her body around. So she's going to go into a prep. She has a nice deep plie. Her arms lock into place and she does a nice spot, 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 spot. Beautiful. Hey, that was good. <laughs> The first thing you want to think about is your first arm is going to lock open and that locks your shoulder blades together and then your second arm is super important that whips your arms into first and that's going to help your turn to start, okay? So her first arm is what's going to open and lock her shoulder blades into place and her second arm is what's going to start her turn. She goes one, two, and locks those shoulders into place. Nice. All right, so the fourth and last word is sustain, which is the most important part of the turn, and that's being able to stop your turn and squeeze and hold at the end. Three turns, ready? And five, six, seven, and one, two, squeeze, 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 hey! <laughs> so what she did there at the end, I have a rule of your two spots. Your last two spots are what controls your turn. So if you want to do five turns, you're going to do three power spots and two control spots. And that's what's going to slow your turn down to be able to squeeze. So if you're doing four, then you're going to do two power, two control, and that's how you're going to be able to All right, so just to recap all those words, the first one is foundation. The second one is opposition. The third one is momentum. And the fourth one is sustain. And I just want you to remember that Maddie has been dancing for 10 years and she is our turner girl. So if you don't get it on the first try, just remember to keep practicing, stay consistent, and, and try to follow all those words that I just talked about, and you will have So that's how you do turns. Now go out there and practice.